Many cyclists these days tend to be opting for slightly narrower handlebars than usual, although not everyone is adopting that. So let's ask some of the pros today whether or not they do, and also how do they go about choosing their handlebar width? Come on. How do you go out and choose? Yeah, exactly, Valentine's. Someone did say in the comments. How do I choose it? Yeah. By looking at what looks good. No, yeah. I'm only joking. Uh, also, you need to save watts where you can. So. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. Ride whatever the mechanics put on your bike and don't complain. Right, Alex, I'm gonna try and get a few words from you. There's uh, a bit of motorsport going on in the background. Your road handlebars, how do you go about choosing your width for them? Uh, so I just basically ask for as narrow as Canyon will make in the aero bar. Right, okay, and is that purely just for aerodynamics? Um, nah, nah, it's not at all actually, it's for squeezing through gaps in the peloton. Really? Well, if you've got wide bars, there's a smaller gap you have to go through. Um, I just thought, yeah, more narrow the better. And yeah, I tried, I, I went for, I was started at 44 centimetres, then I went to 42s, and then I thought, okay, let's just try the smallest, 38s, and I had no problem with it. And I noticed that no matter what handlebar you hold, your elbows always stick out. Um, and you know, it's a, um, uh, how do you say, it's a slave joint in mm -hmm. the sense. And yeah, it, it, I had no problems with controlling my bike, riding, and I've been doing it ever since 2007. That's a long time actually, isn't it? You've been that narrow for, for that long? Yeah, so. To be honest, like, narrow is better aerodynamically, but I don't get enough leverage when I sprint with a narrow bar. Yeah. You know, I kind of have to sit up, it keeps the bike upright. On a track bike you can do it because you sat down, but when you're out the saddle, you know, I throw the bike around when I sprint. Yeah. I need a bit of width there to, to kind of uh, lever on it. A bit, yeah. You know? Have you tried around with narrow ones? Have you yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. I always use them on the track, but I don't have to get the saddle, I do. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think even 2012 Olympics, I use narrow ones, but look, I had a puncture and I want to sprint anyway, but yeah, I was in the saddle on the sprint, really. I had to learn to kind of track sprint on the road, you know? Yeah, because they're going like, what, 36, 34 yeah, on the track, but, aren't they? But that's just crazy, isn't it? Like, you, you can't, know, you can't really manoeuvre, do you know what I mean? Like, I tried it, I was trying to get wider and wider just to manoeuvre, you know? Yeah. Like, that's how I ride, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, that's the thing, narrow is aerodynamically better, but you just can't manoeuvre the bike. Yeah, you want that torque, I guess, to yeah. chuck it around a bit. I've had it at 40 since the beginning of time. And 40 I mean, is what yeah, it is, yeah. centre to centre. Ever it's thought about going narrower? No. 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 That's, sorry, mate, no. That's all right. That's all right. No, why Honestly, would I do that? Honestly, it's the best policy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I don't understand why people are going narrower. No. It makes you more aero, but 90% of the time you sit on a bunch. That is true, yeah. But does it make it easier to move through the bunch, do you reckon? No. No? If you've got narrow bars and wide shoulders, then you're still going to bump into someone, aren't you? <laughs> there we are. Well, basically, I've, I've gone from when I was a junior. Uh, I was set up by the AIS, um, Cycling Australia, and they measured me up as a, a full body, and they said, your bars should be 40, 42, uh, and I've stuck with it since. Yep. That's as simple as this. Yeah. Never been tempted to go a little bit narrower, like we see some of the guys here, like Adam? Yeah, nah. Nah, nah. nah. I, uh, I like to be comfortable. Uh, yeah. If you're in a bike for a long period, then uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit different to a time trial where you really, if you're comfortable, it's the wrong position. Uh, if you road bike, like I said, between four and seven hours, you want to have some comfort. Uh, I'm small, so I just choose the narrowest ones for me. I just get the 40s. Okay. And do you find that makes any difference with handling in the peloton? or? Um, not that I've noticed. Anyway, I just feel more comfortable on them. Yeah. And that's about, that's about literally all I've ever thought about, yeah. so. Never gone, to, never thought go wider or anything like that? No, not really. I kind of, I went narrow when I was a quick step, you know, just because it was like, their philosophy was go narrow, 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 you know, and it just felt good. So it's just comfort more than anything, I think. Yeah. You get, there's no secret formula. It's kind of, look at your shot. I don't think you should have your much wider than your shot, a little bit wider than your shoulders, and that's yeah. about it. Pretty narrow, but not too narrow, so, uh, I have big shoulders and I ride 40 centimeter bars, so, yeah. but any narrower than that, I think you kind of compromise handling. Uh, but actually, I feel almost better with 40s than I do with anything wider, so. Funny question. Uh, at the, I run size 40 handlebars, but I just uh, saw my biomechanic a month ago and he was posing the question why I shouldn't uh, go to 38. Uh, the one limiting factor for us is actually what our sponsors make. Okay. Because a lot of us run uh, one piece bar and stem. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the sizing and lengths that we run compared to the general public, 
who's what the, they, they make the measurements for because they, you know, the market for the public is much bigger than the handful of handlebars they supply us each year. Yeah. And so we kind of have to fit into, if you want to run an integrated bar and stem, you need to fit into their kind of specifications. And uh, 38 is not normally an option with most companies. So unless you're prepared to run a non-integrated, you know, you have to decide. Yeah. Do you want to be 38? Maybe be narrower, but you don't, you don't, you're losing the integration, so you're losing the aerodynamics anyway. Yeah. How much more aerodynamic are you with 38 bars? Yeah. Or do you run the 40s all integrated? And I don't know, also hand position's got a lot to do with it. If you hold the bars straight or if you just roll your wrists in, yeah. it can be like you're riding a size 30 bar anyway. Uh, whatever your shoulders are, man. Yeah. My shoulders are relatively narrow, yeah. so I use a 42, I think. Yeah. Ever been tempted to go narrow like some of these guys around here? They're, I, they're I, a bit may, narrow, don't they? Yeah, actually mine might be a 40. I'm not the, the most specific on equipment, am I? I'm not really a finicky rider that way. Uh, I just think, you know, if it gets too narrow, then everybody's a specialist these days. You know, some guys like to run them really narrow because they're they're going to ride the breakaways and they want to be uh, nice and aerodynamic when they're they're on the front. And I think uh, wide is stable, but you know, if it's too wide in the sprint, then you're going to have trouble getting through some of the holes and gaps in the peloton. So, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, ride what's comfortable, yeah. that was my recommendation. Yeah. So there we are, some different opinions on what types of bars to be using and also how to choose them. Let me know though, have you gone super narrow and super aero or are you still remaining nice and comfy and well, able to ride all day long? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget too to like and share this video with your friends. Big old thumbs up and why not check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And now for two more great videos, how about clicking just down here and just down here.